Kia ora everyone, call Morg Nuts. Tēnei, how's it going? Now, I come to you today from the beautiful town, or township, it's a small town, of Geraldine in the South Island. It's about two and a half, maybe two and a quarter hours from Christchurch, just south. And the reason I'm in Geraldine is I come down here quite a bit. My mum and dad live here, and their place backs onto this beautiful kind of native forest called Talbot Forest Scenic Reserve. And I'm just gonna go for a wee wander in there today and show you around. So yeah, so we're just gonna have a wee wander. It's not a big one. Lots of families do it when they're in town on holiday, but I just thought I'd show you. G'day, mate. There's four walks in total. They're just short walks in there, but it's really pretty. I thought you might enjoy it, so let's get into it. If you enter the Talbot Forest Scenic Reserve from Hislop Street, which is what I just did, the first thing you'll come across is this little plaque here, which has some geological kind of information about the soil and the ground underneath us. So if that's your kind of jam, you want to have a wee read of this. Rocks really aren't my thing, but if it's your thing, you're going to love this. There's actually a bit of an upgrade of the tracks in the Talbot Forest Scenic Reserve at the moment, which is really cool because some of the tracks were getting pretty boggy, but they're looking really good now and they're building little bridges and stuff like that. It's great. It's a, it's a beautiful little spot. Check out this wee creek. Hang on, let's have a look at this. Four different tracks in Talbot Forest. They all kind of like link up and cross over each other and whatnot. It's pretty cool. You can so you can dart off one and come back around another. The first track is Kahi Katia. That's the one that I came into from Hislop Street. Kahi Katia track links Hislop Street with the Tōtara picnic area, which is where I am now. It's a lovely little space. And there's car parking there, and you can sit here on this picnic table and have your lunch if you want. The next one is the Tōtara track that hooks up uh, Tōtara Street with the Trip Street picnic area, a lot of picnic areas around here which is awesome. The cool thing about the Tōtora track is there is the largest Tōtora tree in the reserve there and it's estimated at 800 years old and the largest of the Tōtora trees could be used to make their war canoes or waka toa which are capable of carrying like 100 warriors. It's insane, they're massive. Next up we have the reservoir track and that connects Trip Street picnic area to Bridge Street. On the dock website it says that the Trip Street picnic area is actually kind of the best place to start if you wanted to explore the whole reserve so you can park up there and have a picnic and then wander off if you want it's a good central sort of hub and also on Bridge Street the iron gates that you'll find there mark the original entrance to the whole reserve and lastly there's the Matai track and that connects Trip Street with Tōtura Street and if you go through the Matai track you'll see funnily enough Matai trees which have that real kind of crazy hammered looking bark it almost looks like camouflage to me it's incredible so make sure you do that one and check them out so this right here is Tōtura Street and then in here we've got the Tōtura Track. And look how dark it looks coming in from here. This is so cool! Now I'm not entirely sure but there is a big ass Tōtura Tree right there. So I wonder if that's the 800 year old one. Let's, uh, I'll just keep filming heaps of Tōtura Trees until I find the largest one and then I'll assume that's the one. <laughs> Here's the thing, the further I get down Tōtura track, I just keep coming across bigger and bigger Tōtura trees, like this one here, absolutely ginormous. Maybe that's the 800, I wish there was a wee plaque or something on it. Maybe I haven't actually come across the one that is 800 years old and there is a plaque on it, so we'll keep, we'll keep hunting. It's almost got that kind of enchanted feel. I could see a movie being shot in here, that'd be moon. Oh, maybe I should shoot a movie in here. What would it be? It'd have to be some sort of fantasy thing, eh? The little like witches and goblins and princesses and heroes and heroines and but no heroine. <laughs> oh, I see another massive Matai coming up. <laughs> now 
Now Talbot Forest Scenic Reserve is actually home to New Zealand's only native land animal and that is the long tail bat or peka peka and there's a big program in place to protect them and try and kill pests that either eat them or just destroy where they roost and I'm happy to say my dad is actually a part of that and he traps possums here which are also a pain in the ass to the bat at night at dusk you can sometimes see them flying around I haven't seen them dad says oh there's one right there I never see them so if you want to come for a walk at dusk sort of time when the sun's setting you might be able to see them flying around or landing in trees Radio flow. So this is the Trip Street picnic area. It's a bit bigger than the uh, Totora Street picnic area. It's got a bit more room, it's got some more tables, it's got a toilet over there if you need to use a toilet, and then you've got the entrance. And this is the original entrance that I was telling you about with the Iron Gate. And this, my friends, is the Geraldine Water Reserve. Look at this big beauty. I don't know if you could see with the uh, what it says on the plaque. Geraldine Borough Reservoir, capacity 500,000 gallons, commissioned by the Geraldine Borough Council, March 1962, C.S. Davies, Esquire, Mayor. And Davies Road is one of the roads that run alongside the uh, Talbot Forest Reserve, so that must be named after him, I'm guessing? Not only does Talbot Forest Scenic Reserve have this huge reservoir, amazing tracks, and New Zealand's only native animal, the Pika Pika, it's also got the, let me get this, the Rifleman slash TTT Ponamu. It's got the Shining Cuckoo, sounds amazing, also called the PP Faro Roa. And then of course we've got the long tailed bat, the Pika Pika, and then the Cave Wetter. I've never seen one of those here, but I'd love to. But there's also Tui, I've heard them in the trees. There's bellbirds as well, which sound incredible. And also, Kiridu, the wood pigeon. They're massive. If you see them up close, they're so plump. They look kind of delicious almost, but I won't go there. And they do this amazing thing where they fly, they fly up high, get a lot of speed, and then swoop up again, stall, and then kind of just fall off, and then catch themselves and carry on. They're such amazing birds. So you'll see plenty of those around. They land in the trees, and then the branches just sort of go, whoa, because they're so freaking heavy. Now we're on the reserve track which takes us from the Trip Street car park which I showed you before down to Bridge Street and I actually believe the Bridge Street end has the iron gates that were the original entrance to the reserve not the ones I showed you earlier and this one's got a nice little downhill as well a very slight gradient god it's just so beautiful and look we're walking through this tunnel of absolute gorgeousness Um, I'm not seeing any iron gates around here, so I assume that those iron gates back there, that was the original entrance to the reserve. So there we go, that was Talbot Forest Scenic Reserve, isn't that a beautiful spot? I mean I didn't do all the tracks, I just did sort of maybe two and a half I think. You get the picture, it's a beautiful spot, they're easy tracks and a real suitable place to take the whole family. But you can't bike through there so just keep that in mind. Plenty of other bike tracks around, in fact, oh man I should do a review of the bike tracks around here, they're incredible. So yeah, Talbot Forest Scenic Reserve, thank you very much for coming with me as always. Thank you for watching, I'm Morgnuts and I'll see you in the next video.